let's talk about Danny Ricardo. Yes, let's talk about Danny. Yeah. Um, so he he came to China with a new chassis after kind of campaigning for a new one from from the team. Um, and I thought it was really interesting. He, you know, he he felt that some of the issues he was having with the car were related to the chassis. But then Alan Permain, who's RB's racing director, said that the chassis doesn't have anything to do with the performance, but clearly it has something to do because Daniel looked really good this weekend. Um, he did. He, and I mean, like, not like great, um, and not where we want Danny to be, but in comparison to the first four races, this was a really positive step. Um, and I really don't think that he just looked good in comparison to the fact that Yuki looked so bad this weekend. No, I think, I mean, if we, if we take every individual performance of Danny so far through five races, this was, I think he looked the best this weekend. Yeah, he, he, he did. And I, you know, it, it's, and I don't think it's also a Danny has experience on this track and Yuki doesn't because Yuki is one of the four drivers who's never, never driven on this track before. Um, but I, I thought that, you know, whether it was a placebo effect, um, but I, I don't think it would have been a placebo effect because, you know, Danny is such a much better driver than he's shown this season um, yeah. that I, I really do think that whatever they did with this new chassis um, helped. Um, and I, I don't necessarily know if he would have finished in the points or very close to it. I think based on the safety car situation, he had a really good chance to finish in, you know, P10, P11, 